Hey, my name is Max. Welcome back to part two of this tutorial series on modern web development workflow using Gulp. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Browserify for really cool module loading for your front end JavaScript code. First, we want to create a little module called Logger that will allow us to log anything to the console. To make it actually useful, we will first check if the console object exists and only then log to the console. Now we will create our main JavaScript file. This is where we bootstrap our application and this is also the entry point for Browserify. For this demo, we'll just load the module we just created and then use it to output something to the console. Now let's install the Browserify plugin for Gulp. Then we can edit our Gulp file to include a task for using Browserify. First, let's require the Browserify plugin we just installed. Now we will create a task with the name JS. Here we will specify the main.js file as our entry point. We pass over the entry point to the Browserify plugin. In our options, we will set debug to true. This way Browserify will include source maps with the compiled JavaScript. Now we just have to specify an output folder for our JavaScript and we're done. To execute this task, we'll just type gulp.js to the terminal. Gulp created a JS folder inside our build folder and put the Browserify JavaScript in a file called main.js. Let's edit our template and include this file. OK, good. Now let's execute the jade task again we created in the previous video to recompile our template. And everything looks fine here. Let's open this up in the browser and see if everything worked. If we open the JavaScript console in Chrome, we can see that we get the output just as expected. Chrome also tells us where the console log comes from thanks to source maps with Browserify. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, I'm really grateful for any feedback I can get. I hope this was helpful to you, and I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks again. Bye.